Hello students, today I am going to discuss about the last minute steps for the revision of CBSE 12th physics to get good score in physics. Most of the students have completed the revision of physics till date. Today is the 1st March and after 3 days your paper will be of English and after 1 day on 6th on after 6th March paper will be on 7th March. So what should be the tips or what should be the strategies to revise the complete syllabus of the physics in just only in so students I have divided the entire physics entire physics which consists the 10 units into 6 categories that is first was in the devices in physics 13 to 14 marks direct questions 13 to 14 derivation part numerical part graphs and the value based question when we talk about the devices in physics as all of you know devices in the physics are in the in the various units for example in electrostatics capacitors in current electricity resistors meter bridge potentiometers in magnetism cyclotron galvanometer students remember one thing you have to do the concept or devices of galvanometer with conversion into a meter and the voltmeter lcr circuit questions may come from the lcr circuit parts with lr combination resistor capacitor combination or inductor capacitor combinations as you know when the combination is lr rc or lc you have to use the uh, impedance in place of the resistance that is if we have to as you know impedance is equal to r square plus xl minus xc ka whole square and complete square root therefore whenever there is lr put the xc0 when there is rc put xl0 and when there is lc put r equal to 0 from optics lenses mirrors pris prisms optical devices that is optical instruments from semiconductor diodes and the for the derivation and the direct questions students do one thing take a copy and pen and just write the articles with the diagram formula and revise the basic concepts to derive the formula your focus should be on understanding the concept not cramming the result for this uh, you can take the example of the capacitor for example you have to derive the result for the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor just remember the result what is the capacitance capacitance equal to charge per unit potential and what is the potential in terms of the electric field potential is e into d and as we know electric field for a plane sheet is sigma over epsilon naught and what is the sigma sigma is the charge per unit area therefore electric field will be q over epsilon naught a and what is the electrical potential electrical potential will be q d over epsilon naught a and when we calculate the, when we have to calculate the capacitance what is the capacitance charge per unit potential charge per unit potential means ki charge is q and what is the potential q d over epsilon naught a q d over epsilon naught a and q q cancel and c equal to epsilon naught a over d so student i want to say that you have to remember the basic concepts what is the basic concept behind the formula for example we may take another example if we have to derive the capacitance in series capacitance in parallel what is the capacitance capacitance is q over v and as we have we know that capacitors are different we have the different capacitors therefore in series charge is the same in parallel charge is differ and in series charge is differ and in parallel charge is same therefore for series combination how we find the result that is potential is difference therefore different therefore total potential will be b1 plus v2 plus b3 up to so on and in parallel total charge equal to q1 plus q2 plus q3 up to so on therefore what is the v v equal to q over c what is b1 q over c1 q over c2 up to so on therefore 1 over c equal to 1 over c1 1 over c2 this is the parallel result this is the series result and in parallel we get the result like this therefore 
we can derive the formula we can derive the any formula if we know the basic concepts behind the, that formula if we have to obtain the refraction formula through a prism then we can easily revise this article let this is a prism this is the incident ray this is the refracted ray this is the emergent ray and we draw the normal on the two surfaces this is the angle of incidence this is the angle of emergent when we produce the incident ray forward and backward the emergent ray then this is the angle of deviation therefore angle on this surface is angle of refraction angle on this surface is angle of refraction and this is the angle of prism therefore with the help of this diagram we can easily derive the formula that is angle of deviation is i plus e minus a so i want to say that if we know the concept then we can revise or derive the any formula so student your focus must be on the understanding the concept not cramming the result when i will talk about the numerical part then as i have said in my earlier video there are the direct numerical and indirect numericals direct numerical comes from the 5th 7th 8th unit and indirect numericals come from the 1st 2nd 4th and the 6th chapter that is from the electrodynamics and from the optics part so student you must revise these numericals direct and indirect numericals from these chapters only when we talk about the graphs or the tabular form questions for the graphs you have to revise only two chapters that is like current electricity and the seventh seventh means the dual nature of matter and radiations and for the tabular form of question questions may come from the unit number six that is from the optics or may from the unit number eighth eighth that is the nuclear physics and for the value based question just read the value based question at the end of each unit so students these were the techniques or the steps which are sufficient to get the very good score in physics but this technique is helpful only if you do the 100% effort or hard work and avoid the confusion so students all the very best for your exam on the 7th march 2018 i hope this video will help you a lot to get the good score in physics all the best students